Hi, I'm Will from Hacked.com, and today we'll tell you how to realise when you've been hacked. Have I Been Pwned is one of the best tools for checking your email account's safety. You should go to the website and enter each of the email addresses that you have used. The site will then check to see if any of these email addresses have appeared in known data leaks or breaches. If your email addresses have been featured in breaches, you know that those accounts are more at risk. If any of your accounts do show up at risk, make moves to secure them. Use a password generator to create new passwords for these accounts, as well as a password manager, and avoid opening suspicious emails. If any of your other online accounts share a password with these hacked email addresses, change them immediately. Dehashed is another powerful tool for checking the safety of your online accounts. But, unlike Have I Been Pwned, it checks more than just your email addresses. You can enter any search term, such as your name or old online handles, and the site trolls the internet to check if any information is publicly available. You should use Dehash to check up on all of your old account names and make sure that they're not at risk. It's possible to search for your full legal name, address, and phone number to make sure that none of this information is publicly available online. Another way to check if you've been hacked is to keep an eye on sites that you use regularly. Free services such as the Security Site Checker can tell you if your favourite sites have been compromised. On the Security Site Checker, you can enter any web address that you visit frequently, and it will provide you with a list of potential risks from the site that you have entered. If any of your most visited sites come back as risky, you should immediately change any passwords associated with those sites, and consider stopping using them. An essential step in checking if you've been hacked is to check on lists of hacked websites. Have I Been Pwned offers a comprehensive list of all the websites that have ever been breached, while sites such as SelfKey offer lists of the most recent breaches. You should ensure that you're checking these lists frequently to make sure that sites you visit haven't suffered a data breach. Most sites do inform their users when a breach occurs. However, it's possible for you to miss those messages, and in some cases, websites fail to notify users in a timely manner. For your own safety and peace of mind, you should check regularly yourself. A great option is to set up a Google alert for data breaches, or use an RSS reader like Newsflow to add the Have I Been Pwned breach sites feed. Both of these options should inform you as soon as there is a new data breach. If you've followed all of these steps and find out that you've been hacked, then there are several more steps it is important for you to take. The first thing you need to do if you've been hacked is inform those closest to you, and there are a number of reasons why this is important. Firstly, hackers typically hack someone for financial gain. When a hacker gains access to your account, they may try to scam your friends, family or followers to get money from them. They can also use your account to trick your friends into giving up access to their own accounts, creating a vicious cycle of hacking. We've had a number of clients who lost their accounts to hackers posing as their friends. The accounts of these clients was then used to trick others, creating a constant chain of hacked accounts. Another reason it's important to inform others about your hacked profile is to prevent the hacker causing trouble in your daily life. Hackers will sometimes post things to your account that could get you in trouble, either with your friends and family, or even sometimes your work. If your account contains sensitive information, then the danger is even greater. On our website, we've created a page that you can send to friends and family if you've been the victim of a hack. You can also have your friends post this page to their own accounts to inform their friends and followers that you are no longer in control of yours. The second thing that you should do is avoid paying any ransom demands that the hacker sends to you. In fact, you should avoid responding to such demands at all. Paying a ransom demand means that you are funding the illegal activities of these hackers, and in most cases, paying a ransom does not guarantee they'll return your account. If a hacker approaches you for a ransom, you should immediately contact your local law enforcement and file a police report. You could also hire a third party, who will talk to the hacker so that you can avoid direct involvement. 
The most important thing to realise about hackers is that they're in it for money. The moment they realise that you're not going to pay, they'll move on to their next victim. Most attempts at extortion are shallow, and hackers do not usually follow through with them. Most online services will inform you if your account has been logged into from a new location or device. If you don't recognise a login, you need to do the following. Change your password, add 2FA to your account, and add any additional security layers that the service offers. If the hacker has changed your password or email address, and you can't get back into your account, you should follow the service's own protocol for hacked accounts. Often, these services will allow you to revert recent changes from an email alert sent by the service. If that does not help, try to contact your service's customer support and see if they can help you. If you are 100% sure that you've been hacked, you should follow our protocol. Change passwords on all of your online accounts that you still have access to as quickly as possible. Ensure that you have secured your main email address by changing the password, implementing a recovery email, and enabling two-factor authentication. Let all of your friends and family members know that you have been hacked to ensure that they are not scammed by the hacker pretending to be you. Do an assessment of which accounts have been compromised and what information hackers now have access to about you and your network. Do not create a new profile or account on the same platform you were hacked using the same credentials, such as your email address or phone number. This can make it much harder to recover your original account. After you have a full overview of the situation and have secured all of your online accounts, you can start attempting to recover your hacked ones. Go through your emails to find security alerts about your compromised profiles. These often give you recovery options. Try to reset your password using both email and SMS options where available. If that doesn't help, visit the services portal and see if you can find a form to report a hacked account. If the service doesn't offer a form, try to contact their customer services directly. For the worst cases of breaches or attempted extortion, consider contacting your local law enforcement to file a report. If you're struggling with your online accounts, then visit hacked.com. Our recovery sessions can help you to recover your account, even if you've been unable to get it back yourself. We also offer comprehensive security audits and a monthly personal protection plan to keep you safe from hackers and scammers. Hacks.com, for all of your cybersecurity needs.